gonna hang out in half moon pose for a while today. So we're not gonna focus so much, and just so you know, half moon pose, boom, like this. We're not gonna focus so much on the balancing part of it, which we will be doing. So to help us kind of take our, ourselves out of the fact that we're balancing, we're gonna use a support like a chair or a stool or something that's like pretty high up so that you can kind of just like bring your weight there and then really focus on this lifted leg. And so maybe it's like, I don't know, a box, boxes, and they're all stacked up. You could also have blocks and, you know, just put them on maybe even the high height, you know, and just, it's a little unstable, not as stable, I should say, as like the chair option, right? But if you have a chair or any, something that you can kind of stack up, yes, box, <laughs> box is great, Yeti but let's stack it up, right? So find tools in the house. It could be anything. Um, stools, poof, blocks, uh, boxes, right? So find whatever that support is for you. And we're gonna, you know, just put it off to the side for now and we'll start seated. So I'm going to set all these things up. We're already recording, so we're ready to get going. Let me shut the shade so it's not so, so bright. And we'll just start as we do in our seated posture. So sitting on whatever support you'd like to, to lift your hips, lift your seat, cross your legs, or you could even sit kneeling, right? which we don't typically talk about a lot. You could bring a blanket on your calves and kind of sit that way, which is a big stretch on those ankles. You could also bring a block or something under there too to kind of lift you up, right? Or even a block between your legs, between your ankles and sitting on that, okay? And so find a seat that feels supported. You can lift up out of your hips and relax the knees and the lower body. And then feel the center of your chest lift and lengthen through the crown of your head. So drop the chin down just a little bit. Feel the ears pull back over those shoulders so the skull moves back in space slightly. If it feels good, allow your eyes to close. And then let's start to deepen the breath. <sighs> so just right away, noticing how you're feeling. What is going on for you right now today? Where does your energy lie? And there's no like, I need to change anything, right? You just are accepting of exactly where you're at because everything is valid. All of these feelings, emotions, thoughts, all of it, it's all valid. And so it's just about observing and recognizing where we are right now. And how can we support ourselves with small and intentional shifts to feel better, right? That's all that we're trying to do. We're just trying to feel better. All the body knows to do is to heal, right? So if there's like body things, like for me personally, it's my left hip. Left hip has been screaming at me. And it's really, it's easy for me to be mad at my hip. <laughs> but I love my hip. This hip is really, even though it, it aches a lot, it supports me with everything I do. And so how can I make small shifts to support the love for my hip? <laughs> and so just notice, right? What is showing up for you right now? Deepening the breath still, make deep breath in all the way up the spine. Full exhales all the way down, maybe the front of the body. You can trace your breath like this circle, right? Traveling up the tailbone, up the back body as you're inhaling to the crown of the head and exhaling down the front of the face, the chin, the throat, the chest, through the belly and back down to the pelvis and circling back up through the back with an inhale. And exhaling down the front. And so keep going with me. Let's do three more breaths. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling. And then one more really thoughtful breath like that. Inhaling up the back. 
the neck dangling down the front. And then let your breath continue in this pattern or let your breath just be natural, whatever feels best for you. And just taking a moment to kind of imagine the space above your skull. And you must imagine like, or feel into that space. It's just like air above the head. And then just imagine like this golden light shining down from above right onto the top of your head. And you could even potentially try to tune into this sense of temperature, right? When you kind of step into sunshine and it all of a sudden warms your skin, a type of sensation of this like golden light, just resting on the crown of your head, warming up the top of your skull. And then imagine this golden light traveling down into your body from the top of the head, filling your whole head, filling down through the throat, into your heart center. And as you're breathing in, feel this golden light fill the space of your heart. Right, feeling the lightness in your heart center, right, feeling as if your heart could be as light as a feather. I love that analogy, especially when our heart is pounding. So in our practice today, maybe we'll get to points where our, we're really kind of working and our heart is beating, so feeling the sense of lightness right in the center of your chest. You're just floating. Right? And then let this radiating golden light kind of travel beyond the heart center in towards the chest cavity, right? To the rims of the, of the ribs, the edges of the skin, internal landscape, just this golden light filling your, now your whole body. And what does that feel like? Using your imagination, right? Which we don't always do. And so tune into that. What does this feeling of golden light feel like? And imagine this golden light kind of radiating beyond the layers of your skin or the edges of your skin to kind of this, what you'd call your aura, right? The energy center around your body, kind of circling you in, if you will, this golden light just as almost like an egg, like a golden egg, just wrapping around you, feeling and observing the rim of the golden light around you. Like you're in this little golden yoga bubble. And this is your space. This is kind of where all the goodness happens, these small shifts to feel better occur. And so just imagine this golden light just radiating around you throughout our practice today. And then let's bring our palms together to meet in front of our heart and drop your head down. A little stretch in the neck as that chin comes towards your chest and the chest center is lifting. And just take a moment to set an intention for yourself. Meeting yourself where you're at today. Maybe it's a word, maybe it's acceptance, right? Maybe it's just accepting exactly where you're at. Like, oh, I'm grumpy or I'm agitated or I'm feeling really good. You know, wherever you're at right now, you can feel so many different things. Just find an intention to support creating these small little shifts to feel better. And think about this in your mind. And take a nice deep breath in with a little smile on your face. And open mouth, exhale. Let's release our hands down. Release your hands next to your side and lift your chin parallel to the floor. And you can choose to keep your eyes closed or let them open. Inhale your right arm all the way up in just side bend, reaching that right arm over towards the left. Spread your left fingers so wide. Feel those fingers point straight out to the left side. And then rotate your inner left elbow towards the left side of the room. So then you can bend the elbow and soften that shoulder away from your ear. And then feel the left ribs pull up towards the right ribs, maybe gazing up, reach out through the right arm. Good, exhaling, pull the belly in here. So we keep our left hand rooted down to keep that right hip pushing into the floor. And breathe into the right side. And a full, complete exhale. Then keep your core strong, slowly lift both of your arms all the way up so you're straight in the spine. And then drop your right hand down, spread those fingers, the biggest high five to the floor, you love the earth. Let the hand slide out, push into that hand, let the inner crease of your elbow point to the right. So you bend the elbow, softening the shoulder away from the ear, create space around the neck. 
And then a little rotation of those right ribs up towards the left ribs, pulling the chest towards the ceiling. Inhale into the left. And exhale, pull the belly in as you reach as you've never reached before through this left arm. Biggest reach of your life. <laughs> One more here. Deep breath, opening there. Right here. And then inhale, slowly lift both arms up. Seated twist to the right, drop your arms down. Nice deep breath, lift your chest. Exhale, gaze back. Right away, we're gonna move here. So inhale those arms up, nice and slow, deep breath, face forward. Exhale, twist your torso to the left and then the arms drop down. Slow, isolated movements. Lift your chest with an inhale. Exhale, gaze back. And then inhale, come up with the arms, face forward. Now just bring your arms all the way down. Let's bring our right hand, or your sorry, left hand to the heart and then right hand to the belly. Now try to keep your hips really rooted here and we're isolating the thoracic spine, which is kind of like this part of our body, okay? And so rotate to the right side using your core strength. Get heavy in that left hip and you're feeling your upper body rotate. Now reach your left arm out towards the left side. Take a breath, lift your chest center. Exhale, look towards that right side as you reach the left arm over. Now lift that left arm up, open it over towards the left side. So you rotate your chest back to the center and then reach and swoop this arm over towards the right. Get heavy in your hips, neutral weight on your pelvis. Inhale that arm up again, open it out towards the left. Scoop it forward and to the right, feeling your upper body rotate. And then bring that hand back to your heart, face your chest forward, and then twist over towards the left side. Keeping that right hip rooted, your legs are relaxed, right? And then let's uh, reach or switch your hands. <laughs> okay, right hand or left hand's on the belly now, left, or right is in the heart. So let your gaze move with you, feel that left shoulder move back and then reach reach, reach that right arm over, feeling that in the upper back. And then inhale that arm up, let your chest face the center, reach it to the right, and then swoop it forward and across to the left again, feeling that left shoulder move back, inhaling that arm up, exhaling out and forward and over towards the left. And then inhale one more time up, open out to the right, swoop it forward, and then over towards the left. And then, then bring that hand back to the heart, face your body forward, reach both arms up, exhale, fold over your legs, planting your hands, pushing into them, noticing how your hips feel, rest your head down, open up around that mid back here, take a big breath in and exhale it out. Squeeze the belly in and then roll all the way back up to seated. Crack your legs in the opposite cross, but pull the other leg in front. Inhale, arms come up, big breath. Exhale, fold forward. Plant your palms, push into them, root your hips, relax inside of your hips. Notice where there's tension, one big breath. Belly pulls in, exhaling, getting emptier, heavier, and then roll back all the way up. Roll the shoulders, do that a couple of times, big shoulder circles. Good. And the other direction a couple times. Perfect. Now let's come off of our seat here, come to tabletop. So let's just bring awareness into our hips in our tabletop. So spread your fingers nice and wide, knees are under your hips. Untucking your toes here, just move your hips a little side to side. Just a little left and a little right. Notice how that feels in the outer and inner hips. Okay, and then engage your belly here and feel like a little tiny scoop of your tailbone. Like you're trying to almost go into cat pose, but you're just doing it in the lower body. The upper body stays neutral. Press into your hands so you're creating space in your shoulder joints. Shift your weight to the left leg, pushing into the knee and the foot. And then with your right knee bent, flex the foot and lift that leg so your thigh is parallel to the floor. Now, sometimes what happens here is our belly starts dropping down and that helps us lift the leg. So rather pull the belly up, almost like that little cat scoop of your pelvis, of your tailbone. <laughs> now, little tiny pulses, pushing the heel up towards the ceiling and then dropping the knee just level with your hip. 
but keep your lower belly strong. Like you're almost trying to scoop your tailbone, right? Tucking the tail. Keep pressing out of your hands, steady your gaze, and then root into the upper knuckles of your palms here. Keep pulsing, tiny little pulses. So by keeping our pelvis neutralized here, <clears throat> or neutral, <laughs> you're really isolating the glutes and the hamstrings to help lift this leg and do these little pulses. Now pause so that the knee is level with your hips. Still, you're in that little scoop of the pelvis, right? The tailbones, your core is engaged in the pelvis neutral. Now just open your knee, you're externally rotating the knee out towards the right. And you're not necessarily pulling it forward at all. You're just opening the knee out to the right and then internally rotating it back to that starting position. And then open the knee out towards the right and then back to that starting position, right? So we're externally rotating, opening the knee and then internally rotating, hey Mendy, <laughs> pulling that knee neutral. And then again, right, notice if you're collapsing in the left knee or hip, I should say. So start pushing into that knee, press out of your hands. Notice if your weight is going a lot into that left leg, try to bring more weight into that right hand. So your weight is even in both of your hands. Keep going here for five more. Just these tiny intentional external rotations of the hip. Right, so it's really just the knee moving out and in. So two, my kitties are just loving it in here right now. For one, find that neutral position. Now straighten your leg back. I know that left hip might be burning, mine is <laughs> building strength. Now open the toes to the right. So face your right toes to the right and then bring that leg out towards the right just a little bit and then bring it back, toes pointing down. And then open the leg out to the right, toes pointing out and then bring it back. So your heel is in line with your hip, you feel that, right? And then again, let's do this for five more. Keep your breath steady, nice relaxed face. Your hands might be achy, but don't worry, we will stretch those wrists in a minute. Good last one here. Woo! And bring it back, bend the knee and drop it down. Come back and sit on your heels. And just for a moment, close your eyes, rest your hands on your lap and just notice you know, the difference between your legs. We're really starting to turn on the muscles, those deep, deep, deep muscles that connect inside of our hip joint and internal and external rotators. Take a nice full breath in and exhale it out. And then bring your hands forward, thumbs come into the palms, four fingers wrap around and just do some circles with your wrist. Big circles. And because I love mindfulness, mindfulness practice is rotating your wrists in the same direction at the same time, right? Just the wrist. <laughs> and then go in the other direction. Definitely going slower in our practice today. I hope you guys are enjoying that. Doesn't mean that it's any easier. <laughs> okay, and then release those arms, shake it out. And then come forward again, spread your fingers nice and wide and we're starting in this tabletop position. And again, that little tiny scoop of the tailbone, right? So you can even let your belly hang low here, sinking into your shoulders. And then, so you get a sense of what it feels like to resist the floor, push against your hands. Good, so you lift your upper back up, up and you stabilize those shoulders and then scoop that tailbone just a little bit so you feel your lower belly engaging and then shift your weight to your right knee and then lift that left leg flexing your foot so the heel is lifting pointing to the ceiling the toes are pointing to the back of the room now keep that little pelvis tilt right you scoop your pelvis notice that that knee might lower so in order to lift the knee keep that pelvis tilt you're using your glutes and that hamstring so now start with your little tiny pulses. Really think about that lower belly engaging, right? With that tiny little scoop of the pelvis. So you're not moving your pelvis at all. You're just moving the leg. So you're really isolating these tiny little muscles right in the hip to help move the lower limb. Long, deep breaths here. And let's keep going for about 15 more seconds. And try to go slower than you want to. And then it's just really small, subtle movements, which you might be like, yeah, there's nothing going on. Right? But keep the engagement, keep resisting the floor. Okay, now we'll pause. Now, I'm going to show you from the, from the front. Okay, so the left leg is up. 
the knee is hidden, the foot you can see, but then we just open the knee out towards the left and then bring it back. So we hide the knee behind us and we bring it out, right? So we're externally rotating and then we bring it back. We're trying to keep the knee level with the hip, but it's okay if it drops. Keep that intentional little scoop of the pelvis, open the knee and bring it back. Keep going for 10, for nine, right? Really isolate, think and observe these little tiny muscles that wrap around the greater, greater trochanter, right? The top of your femur bone actually goes into like a 90 degree angle as it enters into the pelvis, into your hip. And so that, those are the muscles that wrap around that connection that we're isolating. I've lost count. <laughs> Maybe you have two, so let's just do two more. <laughs> Good, whoa, kitties. And then one more and bring it back. Now straighten that leg, okay? Now we're still going. Root into your hands, push into that right knee, even out the weight between your hands. Now point your left toes out to the left and bring it out just a little bit, keeping your pelvis neutral and then bring it back. Point the toes out, bring that leg out. You're externally rotating the whole leg. So it might feel like your leg is heavier, which is the truth because now we're straightening the leg and that lower leg is also heavy. <laughs> Right, let's do it for three, for two. Right, notice what you feel on your right hip. And for one, good. And then bring it back, bend the knee, drop it down. Come back and sit on your heels. Woo, shake out your legs. Ah, so I was doing this a little bit earlier and I was just kind of testing out the movement. And literally after like no time at all, maybe five minutes, my hip, my left hip, my achy hip felt better. So it's amazing how strengthening is really important. Okay, start doing circles. Strengthening is really important just as much as stretching. Sometimes when we feel aches, we're like, oh, I've got to stretch it out. But sometimes we actually need to strengthen it. And so that's for me personally, what I'm going through. And so if you guys feel a hip discomfort, just notice how you're feeling after practice today. You might be like, wow, there's space. Those these muscles have been turned on. Okay, okay, and then shake out your arms, bring your hands forward again. Okay, and then let's just do some cow and cat. So drop the belly down, pull the chest forward and look up. And exhale round. <sighs> Dropping the head chin to your chest. Hope you're good. Keep going, a few more. Maybe close your eyes. And as you're rounding the spine, really squeeze your glutes, pull them forward towards your chin, push your feet into the floor. <laughs> Oh no, that was Mendy. Inhale, drop the belly. Mendy, get down. And exhale. Okay, now neutral spine. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, come up and back for downward facing dog. And then just start pedaling out your legs. So bend the right knee pretty deeply. Mendy, <laughs> get off. It's like he knows. You're so funny. Out, it's time. I'm going to lock the door. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, no more titties. Okay, now bend the left or the right knee, let left heel drop down, yeah? And then switch that up. Really push into your hands, getting your chest closer towards your thighs, firm your belly, and notice how your hips are feeling here. Maybe you're like, whoa, I feel like a little different in this down dog today. Maybe because of that turning on of those muscles, those deep stabilizer muscles. Okay, now bending your knees, gaze at your hands, inhale, step to the front of the mat with your breath out. Then we inhale, half forward fold, lift your chest. And exhale, fold forward. Hang out, hold your elbows or interlace your fingers and bring them to the nape of your neck. Letting your head be heavy. Maybe your whole upper body is swaying side to side. <sighs> Notice your outer heart. What's going on over there? Take two more breaths. And then drop your arms, roll all the way up to standing, taking your time here as you're stacking. Roll the shoulders, arms circle up, firm the legs, lengthen the tail low, lift your heart up, look up. Hands to your heart, exhale. Take a nice full breath in. And sigh it out. 
releasing your hands, circle them out and up. Let's do one sun salutation. Classical A, exhale, forward fold. Bending your knees, keeping your weight even on your feet, right? We talked a lot about that on Friday. Relax your head. Inhale, half forward fold. Lift that chest forward. Squeeze the shoulders together on your back and then pull your belly up. Exhale, bend the knees to slowly fold. Step both feet back to plank pose. Nice and slow here. Hold it in plank for five breaths. Spread your toes back there. <laughs> Firm your legs. Feel that little cat scoop of your tail. Feeling the front belly pull up. Pull the chest slightly forward as the shoulders pull back. Three more breaths. Soften your face. I dare you to smile. Two more. One more full breath. Then our knees drop or full chaturanga. If it's in your practice, otherwise knees come down. Hug the belly in, bend the elbows and lower. Belly and chest. Inhale, lift your head, your heart and your hands. If you prefer cobra, hands stay on the mat, tracking back, lifting up a little more. Glutes are tight. Exhale to lower, curling your toes, push back up to the knees and to our downward facing dog. Nice deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Now it drops the knees. Okay, from here, we're going to walk those knees to the right side of the mat and come to sit on our left hip. So now our knees are bent, our knees are stacked, our feet are stacked. Okay, and then come onto your left forearm. Now what tends to happen here is we sink into the shoulder and we kind of like hang out like a little mermaid, right? We're not gonna be mermaids today, maybe partially, but not entirely. So push into that left elbow, to stabilize and create space in the shoulder and pull these ribs up away from the floor, okay? Keeping all of that, right hand to our right hip. Now lift that right knee up without your right hip dropping back, okay? We wanna keep our hips stacked, lift that right knee, and then lower, and then lift, and lower, right? Notice those ribs, are they sinking down? So pull them up, push out of that elbow, inhale, lift, and exhale. For 10, nine, really with your hand on that hip, you can feel into those small muscles. Well, not entirely because <laughs> they're deep inside, but feeling into how the pelvis wants to move to get you into external rotation, which is us moving this leg, this knee out towards the right side or up, I guess. So very similar to what we did just now in our tabletop position. You're just bringing the knee out to the side. Notice the tilt of the pelvis, last two. And just so you know, I lost count, so it's not like I'm really keeping track. <laughs> okay, now drop the knee. Keep pushing out of the elbow, hug these ribs up, okay, hands on the hip. Now lift that right leg so the knee and ankle are level with your hip, okay, parallel to the ceiling and floor. Okay, now just hold it. Yep, we're just gonna hold it. And so lift your chest, pull those ribs up, press out of that left elbow, hug the belly in. Okay, now keeping your knee bent in this shape, just push that foot back a little bit. Keep your hips stacked. Your leg's not gonna go super far. And then bring the knee forward, keeping it level with your hip. And then bring that knee back, hug the belly in. And then slowly bring it forward. Keep pulling these left ribs up and then bring it back. What are you feeling in that hip? And forward, good, and then back again. Let's do two more. Notice how your pelvis wants to move. So try to isolate it, keep the pelvis right where it is. Just let the leg do the movement, okay? Now bring that knee, the knee stacked, right starting position, but straighten your leg. Now reach through the heel, pull that leg forward and then bring it back again. So the same movement, ankle level with the hip, hips are stacked and then bring it forward. Notice if you're leaning at all in the pelvis, any amount, you're keeping those pelvis, your hips and your pelvis stacked. Your leg's not gonna go super far behind you, right? And then again, pull it forward. Inhale, we bring it back. Now, if this becomes too much, bend your knee, it becomes less weight. This is where the leg gets heavy because that lower leg's extended. 
and forward. Last one here. Bring it forward. And bring it back. And bend the knee. Back the knees. Whew. Press out of that left elbow. Come up. Now onto your seat. Just swoop those legs to the other side. And adjust so your pelvis is stacked, knees are stacked, feet are stacked. You're in a bent position with the knees, okay? And then right elbow comes down, pushing into that forearm, creating space in the elbow, pulling these ribs up versus sinking, right? We pull and we resist. Left hand on the hip, lift that left knee. And lower. Oh yeah, this is a good one for my left hip. Inhale up, exhale lower. That was two, so let's do three, and we're just gonna keep going. And we'll do five more. Mm, let's do seven more, total of 10. Okay, six. Oof, this is taking a lot of effort for me. So if that's the case for you too, know that it, that's fine, right? It's not like, it should be totally easy. Maybe it is easy, I don't know. For sure, the other side for me was easier. This side is much harder. Maybe because I need to do exactly what I'm doing, strengthening my hips. <laughs> okay, I've officially lost count, so let's do three more. <laughs> what happens when I just talk and distract myself? Last two. Notice if you're leaning back at all, keep the hip neutral. One more. Woo! Okay, push out of that right elbow, pull those right ribs up. Here we go, float that leg. Knee, ankle, hip, everything's in one line. We just hold it. Wow, this is exactly what I need. Maybe it's exactly what you need too. Meeting ourselves where we're at. <laughs> no judgments on it. We're just here, loving the hip. I love you, left. Okay, now we'll move. So move that knee back, keep your leg bent. Keep the knee bent, okay? And then bring it forward. Nothing else is moving here except for the leg. Hips stay neutral, parallel, stacked. Uh-huh, that was two. And this is three. You can even push into the bottom leg to help you stabilize. Good. Do three more. Good. Keep pushing out of that right elbow. No sinking in the shoulder. Good. Last one. Now push the leg back, but straighten it. Straighten that whole lower leg. And then swoop that leg forward, still ankle in line with hips. And then bring it back, keeping your hips stacked, pelvis neutral. And then bring it forward. Exhaling forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Last two. Inhale back. You've got this. If you're burning, if your body's like, no more, just say one more body. One more body. That's it. Last one. Here we go. Hug it in. And then bend the knee. Release stacking. Woo! And then come up. Beautiful work. Scoot those feet out to the side. Come to tabletop and then to our downward facing dog. Lifting up and back, press into your hands, wiggle your hips a little or bend the knees alternating and notice how your hips feel. You might be like, wow, they're feeling loose. They're feeling awake. Maybe they feel tight. <laughs> Feedback is great. Let me know after practice. It's very different than what we normally do. So curious. Okay, let's do another sun sally. Bend the knees, look forward, inhale. Exhale, step or hop to the front. Inhale, half forward fold, lift your chest, hug the belly up. Exhale, soft bend in the knees to fold. Scoop your arms to the back of the room as you extend your chest forward and come all the way up to standing. Circle your arms up, palms meeting above the head. Hands to your heart, exhale. Right away, arms circle out and up. Lengthening the ribs higher from the hips. Exhale, fold forward, little bend in the knees, relax the head. Inhale, half forward fold, lift the chest. Exhale to plank pose, holding it here. Strong body. 
toes are spreading, right? Try to spread those pinky toes out. Bend the legs, hug the tail, hug the belly, pull the chest forward. Deep breath. Two more. All right, this is a really great position to neutralize the pelvis as well. One more breath. Now full chaturanga or half, dropping the knees, hug the belly, it, belly in and the ribs in and lower. Inhaling baby cobra or cobra, your choice. Feet stay on the floor and exhale lower. Curl the toes, push to your knees and back up for downward facing dog. Nice deep round of breath and sigh it out. Two more here. Feel your forearms try to pull towards each other, right? Really gripping the floor, feeling those shoulders open up, let the head be heavier. Pull the low belly in, one more breath. Sigh it out. And bend both knees, look at your hands, inhale. Exhale, step to the front. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive to stand. Arms go back, chest and head come forward. We lift with a flat back as we circle the arms up. Palms meeting, hands to heart, exhale. Beautiful. Okay, inhale again. We'll make our way to downward facing dog. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Moving with breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up. Hold it here as you exhale. Now we want to square the hips to the floor here. So your toes are pointing to this floor. So look under you, under the belly. Look for your right toes. Spread those toes. Push into your hands. Feel like your hips are level here and the outer left hip is hugging into the midline of your body. Now feel your right glute and hamstring lift that right leg a little more, keeping your toes spreading and pointing to the floor. Now point your right toes out to the right. We're externally rotating and then scoop that leg out towards the right any amount and then bring it back. Toes point to the floor, internally rotating. External rotate, bring it out. Internal rotate, bring it back. External rotate, bring it out. One more. And bring it out. Let's do one more, even, even five here. Last one. Pull it back, drop it down, down dog. Woo! Inhale, left leg up. Here we go, point the toes to the left, bring that leg out to the left, any amount. Bring it back, toes point down, push into the hands. Open it, those toes out, bring it out, and then bring it back. Exhale out. Inhale back in. Exhale out. And then one more. Good, you got it guys. And then bring it back to downward dog, take a breath in, sigh it out. Bend both knees, look forward at your hands. Step the feet forward to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, come to stand all the way out and up. Big breath in. Hands to heart, exhale. Steady the breath here. Steady the body here. Now hands are by our side, shoulders are on our back. We lengthen up through the crown of the head, mountain pose, Tadasana. Similar to plank pose, except our arms are by our side. So feel this nice even position for your pelvis. Root down into your feet. Firm the glutes, lengthen up through the torso, through the crown of the head. Maybe imagining again that golden light flooding into the body from above the crown of the head, filling the heart, the whole internal landscape, and radiating into this little bubble around you. Take a nice deep breath in and sigh it out. Okay, eyes open. Okay, let's transition to triangle pose and then to our half moon pose. So grab your chair or your support. So if you joined us a little late, we're utilizing the chair or stool or multiple blocks to 
lift the floor up higher to us. So as we come into um, half moon pose, we're not leaning down so far and then trying to lift the leg. We're keeping the torso really extended, able to rotate that other hip up just so you know that's where we're going. But first we'll start in triangle pose, okay? So let's start with our right foot forward and our left foot extends back, okay? So left foot extends back and it's not a super big stance. Drop that heel down so your toes are pointing kind of at the middle of the mat. Right toes are pointing straight forward and we push into the bottom of the foot, lifting all five of your right toes to really root into the big toe mound, keeping an intentional little bend in the knee, hands to our hips. Okay, now push that left hip out, pop that hip out towards the back of the room, but then pull, bring your hands to your ribs, pull the bottom right rib cage forward, and then extend your spine out of your pelvis, reach to the crown of the head, reach your right arm forward, reach, 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 kick that left hip out, and then the back of your right hand meets your inner shin, Okay, pushing into that leg, it could even be your thigh, pushing into that leg with the back of your hand, you lift your chest, rotating the right ribs up to the left and extend that left arm up. We wanna find space here in this right side. Sometimes we are like, yeah, I can touch the floor, but then look at how crunched I am on that right side and I'm overstretching the outer hip. So we wanna stabilize the body, stabilize the hips, the rooted feet, lengthen through the whole spine, Hugging the right ribs up to the left. Three more breaths right here. Maybe gazing up if that's okay for the neck. Feeling your glutes engaged, the outer right hip hugs under you. And then you'll slowly lift your whole torso, reverse your triangle, right? Or left hand drops back onto the leg, right arm is pulling up, and we reach back like we've never reached back before. <laughs> and then come up. Okay, left hand to our hip. Here we go. We're balancing. So have your support handy. Walk your left foot in a little bit. So you're just starting in this shape. Right toes are pointing forward. Spread the toes. We're not so much worrying about the balance so much as this outer left hip action. Okay. So now bring your weight into that right foot. Grab your support. It could be the back edge of your chair and you lift the leg. It could be the base of the chair, the seat of the chair. And as you're lifting your left leg, flex your foot. So if you look at your foot, your toes are pointing to the left side of the room. And then we're trying to stack your left hip on top of the right, right? Notice if your right toes are really gripping the floor, could you open the toes? Okay. Now start to use the outer left leg muscles to lift the leg, almost level with your hip, right? You can be a little low and that is absolutely fine. Okay, now, here we go, my friends, bend the knee. Okay, now we're just holding it right here. We've been in this shape a thousand times already. <laughs> so steady your breath here. Forget about that right leg. You're already here, you're balancing, you're supported with that support under your hands. Okay, and then pulse this knee up and level with the hip. Up and level, up and level. For three, two, Oh yeah, one, pause, extend the leg. Bring this leg forward, yeah. Reach through the heel and then reach back through the heel, extending that leg straight behind you, maybe a little further back. And then bring it forward. Now, if this is too much, bend the knee, bring the knee forward, right? Keeping the knee bent, bring that knee back, which we did before. Absolutely fine to do that or keep the leg straight trying to keep it level with the hip. It's okay if it dips. Good. Let's do it for three, whether your knee is straight or bent, doesn't matter. Good job. For two. Good. For one. Yes. Bring it back. Bend that right knee, drop the left toes back. Point your right toes to the left side so your feet are a little wider than your hips and do some hula hoops. <laughs> I love this movement. I don't own a hula hoop. Maybe I should. Christmas present, Dad, just saying. <laughs> just kidding. Please don't get me a hula hoop. It's okay. <laughs> okay, if you haven't gone in the other direction, hopefully you are now or you should. <sighs> okay, just holding that. 
right? Gets our heart rate up. So swoop that right foot next to your left, find your mountain pose, lengthen through the body, rooting down through your feet, reaching up through the crown. Notice how your hips feel and take a full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Imagine the space of your heart as light as a feather. Another breath. And exhale. And the eyes can open. Okay, other side. So I'm still facing you, so I'm gonna switch sides on my mat. You don't necessarily have to do that. We'll start at our starting position, just mountain pose in front of the mat, okay? Now, start to triangle pose. So right foot slides back, not super far of a stance. Both legs are straight. These right toes are kind of at the middle of the mat-ish, opening us up a little bit, rotating the chest towards the full right side, pushing into the toe mount of that left foot. And then we push the hips back. Ooh, my hip popped, that was good. Okay, and then slide your hands to your ribs. So you're lengthening those ribs out of the hips pulling the left ribs up to the right, push into the bottom of the left foot. So you have a little bend in this knee, firm the thigh. Push your hips out as you slowly tilt your pelvis. Hug your glutes, push them towards this whole right side, hugging that outer left glute under you. And then extend that left arm, reaching so you elongate that left side. And then slowly the back of the hand meets the inner shin or the thigh, wherever you feel comfortable. Push into the hand. Again, firm the glutes, push them towards the right. Right arm comes up and we're breathing for five here. As you're exhaling, hug the right side of your waist together, like these ribs and hip bones are trying to touch. And that's gonna help you lengthen the right side, or sorry, left side of your waist. Good, last two here. Stamp into both feet, especially the outer edge of that right foot. Maybe gazing up, one more breath, big inhale. A full exhale. Hug your belly and come all the way up. Right hand drops back, left arm comes up, reaches back, reaches back, reaches back, and then come up. Good. Right hand to our hip, bend that left knee. Just step your right foot forward. Okay, finding that support. Here we go. Our left toes are pointing straight forward. We lean into that foot. We grab our chair or support, whatever it might be. Okay, push out of that left leg, reach through the right heel. The bones are elongating through your body. Okay, and at the same time, the chest is pulling forward. Don't worry about how high the leg goes, just flex the foot. You can see the toes are pointing to the right. Now, let's bend the knee. Tiny little pulses. Up and level. Up and level. Up and level. Keep breathing. <sighs> Good. That right knee is kind of pointing straight back. For three, two, one. Pause. Extend the leg or keep it bent. Your choice. Okay, slowly bring this leg all the way forward. Woo! And then all the way back. And then all the way forward. Try to keep your pelvis neutral here. That right hand on the hip is helping you and all the way back. Go only as far forward and back as is good for your body, right? It's not about coming all the way level with your hips, just about the movement, forward and back. Kneeling that ankle, try to stay level with your hips, just building that heat. Let's do it for three. Good job for two. Excellent. One more time. Woo Bring it back. Pause. One big breath. Bend that left knee. Drop the right foot. Rotate those left toes. Wider stance on the hips. Do some hula hoop. Hula hoop it around. Femur bones moving in the hip socket. So if you're scooping out bowl of soup. <laughs> Except it's your hips. Excellent. Now stand, stay in this wide stance, step wider. Okay, toes are parallel, open the arms, big breath, fold forward. Bring your weight a little into your toes and fold. Now, rather than trying to open up the sit bones behind you, lifting to the ceiling, squeeze them together. Squeeze your glutes towards each other. Hug the belly in, take a breath. Let your head be heavy. Squeeze those sit bones towards each other the base of your hips. 
then inhale those arms out, lift your chest up all the way to standing, arms come up, hands to our heart, exhale, good, hands to the hips, bring the left heel in, or whichever heel to stand to the front of your mat, okay, so step forward, Whew, once you're there, just take out the legs a little bit, and then we'll slow down to the belly, so arms come all the way up, big breath in, exhale, fold forward, watch out for your chair, <laughs> inhale, half forward fold, and exhale to plank pose. <sighs> Neutral position. Three breaths this time. Turn the legs. <sighs> Pull the chest forward. <sighs> One more full breath. Lean forward, bring your weight forward. Maybe drop the knees or not. Half chaturanga or full. Into your back bend of choice with an inhale. Feet are on the floor, glutes are so tight. Exhale to lower and then roll over your knees. Child pose. Nice full breath in and out. And then roll up slowly, roll the shoulders up and back. Now, because we've done so much strengthening of the outer hips, now we stretch. So, cow face pose. Okay, so come forward, your knees are together. Lift your right foot or your right knee. <laughs> Bring it over the left calf, bring that thigh against the back of your left thigh, drop the knee over on that left side, and then move your feet out to the either side of the room. Now, as you walk your hands back, this is gonna become intense and you might be like, the floor is so far from me. So then grab a pillow or a block, any support to sit onto. Oh yeah, here we go. So then we wanna get heavy in that left hip and lift the chest. We stack the knees, deep breath in, and out. You want to add the arm, okay? The left arm comes all the way up, bending the elbow, hand behind the back. The right arm comes out to a T, palm faces behind us. So we bring that arm behind us with the back of the hand meeting the back. Maybe trying to wedge those fingers to potentially touch or get kind of close. Mine are not touching right now because we haven't warmed up the so shoulders a lot. <laughs> so just meet yourself where you're at. Take a full breath in and out. Where can you soften? One more here. And then just release your arms if they're there. And we're gonna come forward again. So bring your weight forward. Release that right leg next to the left again. And then the knees are touching. Now we lift the left knee up. We bring it over the right calf. We pull that thigh against the back of your right thigh. Open the feet apart, toes pointing to either side of the room. And we walk back, walk back, sitting on that support, finding it under the hips and getting heavy in that right hip, lifting the chest, nice full breath in and out. This might be plenty for you. You might feel hardly any stretch and that's okay because we're manipulating the knees and hips big time here. It doesn't have to be intense. So now the right arm comes all the way up. We bend the elbow and tap the upper back. The left arm comes behind us with the back of the hand to the back of the heart. Maybe it's a little easier to grab your hands on the side, maybe not. Lift your chin, take a full breath in. And a full exhale. Softening something somewhere. And then releasing your arms, we're not here too long. Bring yourself forward again, and then release that left foot from behind the right. Good, and then remove that support from behind you. Scoot your feet out of the way, have a seat, lengthening those legs long. We're going right into it, my friends. Bob, you know, we're at the 30 minute marker, almost, we've got two minutes. So deep breath in, lift your chest. And then tuck your tailbone and roll down intentionally one vertebrae at a time. Feeling the deep abdominal muscles control this release all the way to your back. Already I'm noticing differences in my hips. So maybe notice that too for you. Or your hips. Bring both of your knees in, squeeze it in. Okay, and then a little twist. Drop your feet to the floor first. Lift your hips, move them over to the right an inch or two. Then bring your knees in and drop them to the left. Reach your right arm out to a T and take a full breath in. And a full breath out.
You can move as quickly or as slowly here as you want to. So you can stay there or roll on your back with me. Drop your feet to the floor, moving your hips to the left an inch or two. Then we bring those knees back in and drop them to the right. With the left arm opening out. Two full breaths. And then one more here. And then again, choose to stay there or not, right? Dropping your feet down, straighten your spine out, and then bring the knees into your chest for a big hug. Bring your nose up to your knees, squeezing like a tiny little ball. Take a full breath in and exhale for your Shavasana. Letting your legs go long. Feet flop open to relax those legs. Tuck your shoulders under you and rest your arms by your side, palms up or on the body. And then exhale everything out of your body. Get really empty. And take a deep breath in to every little crevice of your lung space. Maybe imagine that golden light just filling you up here. Hold it in. Zip up the breath. Fill up the body. And open mouth, exhale and let it go. <sighs> Resting your body in your Shavasana, getting any, any wiggles and jiggles out so that you can commit to stillness in this final resting pose. Just a couple minutes. We'll go five minutes over the 30 minute marker. If you need to leave, I get it. Thank you for being here. But if you can rest, enjoy these two minutes of doing nothing. With your next exhale, just allow yourself to drop in to your Shavasana. Now slowly, just begin to deepen your breath. Maybe even imagining that golden light filling you up with every inhale, going into the body, going into the rims of the body, moving the outer edges, energy, body. Wiggle your fingers and your toes, move your eyes. Slowly under the eyelid. Open the jaw, crunch the eyes. Spread your toes, your fingers, walk your head side to side. And then slowly reach your arms towards that wall behind you and the legs are long, pointing the toes. Take a full breath in as you reach in two directions. And exhale, relax the body. And then bend your knees, sliding your feet on the floor. 
Roll over, maybe to the right side, keeping your eyes closed. And then use your sense of touch to push yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Lengthening your spine nice and tall here. Lifting your heart center. Take a full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Letting the corners of your mouth lift to your ears. You smile at your beautiful self, feeling the effects of a smile in the body. And then let's meet our palms together in front of our heart. Hold gratitude for yourself. Right here and now, your amazing body, your fantastic hips. <laughs> Helping to keep our bodies strong, and part of our body that emits the most calcium into our bones. Balancing is so important. And then just remind yourself of your intention. Meeting yourself where you're at, making small shifts to just simply feel better. Reminding ourselves that we always have this choice to open the flow of the energy or to close the flow of the energy. I vote, let's stay open. It's okay if we close. Just those small shifts to feel better. Let's rub our palms together to generate some heat and energy in the hand. Go a little faster and faster and then bring your warm palms to cup over your closed eyes, barely on your face. Take a full deep, rich breath in. And exhale, release your hands slowly down, melting your palms together in front of your heart again. Believe in yourself and do what you are supposed to. Appreciate yourself, enjoy yourself and love yourself. From my heart to yours, my friends and family, namaste. Hmm. Yay!